This is the first of a couple of updates on the development of a GPS-guided remote control buoy for radio sailing courses. I've called it Easy Boy because it's been designed from the ground up to make laying out a course for radio sailing as easy as possible. The Easy Boy system consists of up to eight boys and a single controller. Let's look at the boys first. The buoy here is a 240mm or 9 inch diameter foam sphere. Other sizes and shapes are possible. The buoy uses two thrusters for propulsion and steering, a keel for stability and a handy foot for standing on. With an overall draft of less than 300mm, if there is enough water depth to sail on A-Class or IG-65, you can use Easy Buoy. On top of the buoy is a loop for convenient launch and retrieval. This boy also has the optional integrated wind direction indicator. The wind indicator calculates a 5 minute average wind direction and it's transmitted back to the controller. We'll see how that's used later. Inside the boy is the Easy Boy control system in a separate container. Because the container, thrusters, keel and foot are a separate unit, other external boy shapes and sizes can be used provided the control system container will fit. Boys are numbered 1 to 8. The boy number is set using this simple dip switch. No complex configuration, factory setting or pairing is required. The heart of the Easy Boy system is this custom design controller that is able to control and monitor up to 8 boys. The main display in the centre shows the status of all boys currently present. Each boy is shown with its number, its current mode of operation that we'll talk about later, its current speed, and if using the integrated wind direction indicator, the wind direction, and importantly, the current battery state. To the left is a smaller display that shows the number of the buoy currently being controlled. The process for control is really simple. Use the next and previous buttons to navigate through the various buoys that are available. And then once a buoy has been selected, provide the necessary control inputs. The status of all boys is shown regardless of which boy has been selected. So let's head down to the water and look at the various modes of operation. The Easy Boys controller is threaded to take a standard tripod, so you don't need to hold it all day or leave it lying on the ground to be kicked. Let's start with the simplest mode, manual mode. In manual mode, you select the number of the buoy to be controlled and then use the joystick to drive the buoy to the required position. Forward and back to increase and decrease the speed, left and right to steer the buoy. When the boy reaches the target position, press the anchor button to put the boy into anchor mode. In anchor mode, the boy will stay in its current position for as long as the battery lasts or until such time as you give it another command. I'll talk about the life of the battery later in this update. When you're finished, press down on the joystick to take it out of anchor mode and then use the joystick to drive the buoy back to your location. Manual control is fine for one buoy, but for multiple buoys very time consuming. So Easy Boy introduces a number of automatic modes. The first we'll look at is trundle mode. In trundle mode, you point the boy in the direction you want it to go, set the distance, and then press trundle. Easy Boy will automatically drive itself to the target position that is that distance away from its current location. No further control inputs are required. It's completely self-driving. The trundle distance can be anywhere between 10 and 100 metres. In this case, we've picked 30 metres. So Easy Boy will drive itself to the location 
30 meters from where it started. When it reaches the location, Easy Boy automatically puts itself into anchor mode and there it will stay until it receives further control inputs. When we're finished, we can use another one of Easy Boy's automatic control modes, home mode. In home mode, the boy will drive itself back to the position of the controller. Simply press the home button and the boy will begin to automatically drive itself back to wherever the controller is located. Because it's unlikely that you're standing in the water with the controller, the boy will stop five meters from the controller's position to allow retrieval. All of the boys can also be returned home simultaneously. Simply press and hold the home button for more than three seconds. This will cause all boys to be put into home mode and they will all return at the same time. Home mode is also invoked automatically by a boy when either low battery voltage is detected or communication with the controller is lost for more than three minutes. The last mode we'll look at in this update is automatic start line mode. In start line mode, we anchor boy number one to be the starboard end of the start line. For one of the other boys, in this case we'll use boy number two, we set the width of the start line, any bias that we might want, and the wind direction, and then press the start button. The boy will then automatically drive itself out to form the port end of the start line. If you're using the inbuilt wind indicator, you can select that wind direction rather than use the dial to specify the wind direction. Once the boy reaches the position, it will then put itself automatically into anchor mode and stay there. Let's look at that again, but this time with the wind directly in front of us. Boy number one is anchored as the starboard end of the start line. We set the distance, bias and wind direction and press the start button. Boy number two will now drive itself out automatically to form the port end of the start line. Once it reaches its position, it puts itself automatically into anchor mode and will stay there. If we want to extend the start line from 5 meters to 10 meters, we simply reset the distance to 10 meters on the distance dial, press the start button again, and boy number two will now drive itself to its new position, 10 meters away from the starboard end of the start line. And then it will anchor itself. If you have a start line, you need to start tape. The Easy Boy controller has an included one minute and two minute start tape, along with a built-in speaker and volume control. To be scratch start. Finally, we'll use the All Home mode to bring all the boys back to the position of the controller. Press and hold the Home button for more than three seconds. And then all of the boys that are out on the water will automatically drive themselves back to the position of the controller and stop. In the next update, we'll look at the other major automatic mode, which is automatic course layout, and also a few more variations with our automatic start line mode.
Finally, let's look at three questions, battery life, cost, and availability. Battery life is almost entirely a function of operating conditions. The more force, in the form of wind, current, and so on, trying to move the buoy off its anchor position, the more the buoy needs to work to stay in that position. This graph looks at a test of battery life in a 20 knot breeze using a single 2200 milliamp hour 4S battery. Easy Boy has an extensive built in logging capability that I will discuss in the next update, but it includes battery voltage. So we see measured battery voltage dropping from the fully charged state toward the low limit of 13 volts, at which point the auto home function will kick in over a five and a half hour period. In most circumstances, this would be sufficient endurance, but the battery compartment in the boy can take two 2200 milliamp hour batteries, so in more challenging conditions or where longer anchoring times are required, two batteries could be used to double the battery life. And so to costs. Costs are entirely provisional at this stage, as there remain questions about the best approaches to building and shipping. But on current indications, each boy is expected to cost between 500 and 600 Australian dollars, and the controller between 300 and 400 Australian dollars. At the time of making this update, Easyboy headquarters remain in a state of pandemic lockdown that has, amongst many other things, severely slowed the rate of development, not to mention actual sailing. That situation will begin to ease shortly and it's hoped that this will allow the completion of work on Easy Boy over the coming months. As this update has shown, the system is functionally complete and requires only the resolution of the optimal approaches to building and shipping. It's hoped that by the end of 2021 or early 2022, it should be ready to go. I'll post a further update on Easy Boy very shortly. Until then, I hope you found this update interesting. And until next time, thanks for watching.